This is Randy, and this is Matt Tech TV. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to Google Groups. Um, Google Groups are a type of uh, online communication tool for a group of people that have a similar interest or a similar need, uh, similar goals, and so on. Um, uh, you may have belonged to what is called a forum online. And a forum basically is a place where people that have some kind of common interest get together and discuss things. Somebody will post a question or a comment or share a resource and then other people will reply to it. And you get what's called a threaded discussion. And a threaded discussion is great because it allows somebody to look at a topic, click on it and see all the conversation in one place. So it's a little different than clogging up your inbox with, you know, dozens and dozens of emails. So just to show you what this is like, I'm going to show you how to get to Google Groups. You're going to go up here. I'm in my email program right now. I'm going to go into it and click on this little grid here and then go down here to the bottom middle one and it's going to say Groups. I'm going to click on Groups and it's going to take me into Google Groups. And once I'm in here, I have two choices. I can browse all or I can go to My Groups. If I go to My Groups, I can see all of the groups that I currently belong to. Now there's really two kinds of groups that are in here. For example, for, for these campus technologists, I have a web forum and down here I also have an email list. Now they do sort of serve the same function in the sense of when somebody posts to this web forum, I get an email from it. But this allows people that just want to send a quick email to everyone and don't need it archived and don't need it to be part of a threaded discussion. Uh, they can use this one as well. But anyway, you can see the different ones I belong to. And I'm going to go back to groups and show you how easy it is to join a group. Now, you might want to join this. In our old email system, you had belonged to a district forum. And the district forum was a place where people would post all kinds of things like um, fundraisers or to let you know that the soccer team had made the playoffs and here's when the game time starts or to sell t-shirts or all kinds of district information. Um, and somebody would post something there and then you would see a lot of times people would follow up with questions they had or additional information. But to get to that, you're not by default a member of that group in our new email system, so you need to join the group and I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna come up here and click Browse All. It's one way you can do it. And this will take just a second to populate because we actually do have quite a few groups. You can see it says it's loading there. Okay, so now you see a lot of the groups listed. And as I come down through here, you'll see a lot of the groups start with the word faculty, and these are ones for different campuses. This is the one I'm looking for, though, for this particular example. I'm going to click on District Forum, and you can see there's a couple of posts on District Forum at this point in time. And I'm just going to simply click Join Group, because what that's going to allow me to do is post my own information if I need to or comment on other people's things, ask questions and so on. I'm going to click join group again. It'll take just a matter of seconds. Okay, and so now I'm a member of the district forum. So what I want to do if I want to post something is I can simply click new topic right here and I just give it a title and share whatever information I have. I can put links in it, I can put pictures and so on. I can add files, for example, if there's a form, if it's a t-shirt order thing and there's a form they have to fill out for that, I can do that or whatever, permission slips, things like that. I'm going to go back, I'm going to discard that message. If I want to open someone else's message, click right here and see a message. Here's the message about this fish fry. And then I can come down here and I can add a comment if I would like. I can simply click reply. click post and now my reply is listed along with the original comment and any other comments that have been placed in there okay and it'll stay there and people can come and look at all of the comments in that district forum go back to my groups I can see all my groups again there's my district forum initially you won't see this red button right here that says to create a group the groups uh, have primarily been duplicated straight over from our previous email and forum system, so you shouldn't have to do that. However, if there's a group that you decide that you do need, uh, maybe it's your PLC 
or um, a department that's not listed here, um, then you can always turn, submit a work order and request that a group be created. to tell us whether it needs to be just an email list or an actual discussion forum like I just displayed, and we can take care of that for you. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, contact us over here at Digital Learning. We'll be glad to help you.